Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Take Two Fishing. My name's William, and as you can see, we're back at it once again. So I appreciate you guys leaving comments in the comment sections below on this video or any of one of my past videos. You guys are definitely awesome. I will be answering the comments as they roll in, and I'll be fulfilling the requests that come in. And what's leading me to today's project is, is that I got an email that says, hey, Mr. Take Two, can you do a video on how to use highlights or pearls or color shifting colors. I would love to see one. Please continue to get into the great details that you have continued to get into. But I want to let you guys know before I get that started, I've done a previous video that says something about shaking your saw plastic. And I will not um, go back on that comment. I am a firm believer in shaking the plastic and not mixing. Um, and the reason being that is, is because polysol separates in the container and if it sits around for a lengthy period of time, it will actually begin to cake in the bottom of the container. Now the only way to avoid shaking in a one gallon jug is if you have a device that will simply fit into the throat of the bottle and come down at this angle and reach every corner there is in this one gallon jug. Your other options would be to pour out the plastic completely possibly take a pocket knife of some sort, cut the bottom of the container out, and then you're going to have to clean the substances off the bottom of that container to get it back in the mix because there's so many properties or chemicals that make up the content in this jug. So I'm going, I'm going to continue to recommend to shake, let it sit for a couple days. And the reason why I say it's okay to shake is simply because I have a degassing chamber. If you do not have a degassing chamber, you will run into some problems. But I want to let everybody know, Bait Plastics degasses from the factory and places it in a box and ships it to you. UPS, FedEx, or whoever delivers it is going to kick it, drop it, throw it, or whatever. So there's going to be bubbles in it already. I am a firm believer in degassing my products simply to remove bubbles from, from the finished product. So... Let's get back to details here about what we're doing. As you can see, I have some shaking poly saw in front of me, 152 from Bait Plastics, some blue highlight from Bait, uh, Bait Plastics, some .062, and some green pumpkin brown. One measuring cup, a knife, and a four inch crawl mold. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be mixing up some four inch crawls, and we're gonna be adding some blue color shift to them. Now there's two ways to do this. You can do it with a darker bottom, using a dual injector, use a darker bottom, and go back, I'll put a highlight in that, uh, and then, I'm sorry, let me make sure I get this right. Two ways to do this. At the bottom, using a darker color with the highlight mixed in it, top color, darker color, no highlight mixed in with it. That way you get the highlight on the bottom portion of the bait and not mixed throughout the entire bait. But, as you can see, just to give you a detail, this is one of the baits that currently has color shift in it. And as you can see, it color shifts back and forth in the blue and the natural color of which it was poured. So this is what we're gonna actually do today. So give me just a minute, I'll get some stuff moved around and then we'll make some baits. All right guys, so as you can see, I've got my measuring cup full of poly saw. It's actually in the degassing chamber that I said that I used and just to kind of give you an idea about what's going on inside. As you can see, the bubbles are being pulled to the top and then they pop. Now, if you guys use a degassing chamber, there are a couple things you need to know is that the more poly saw or more soft plastic that you put in the measuring cup, of course, that sometimes will boil over. So one of two ways that I have found that you can actually eliminate some of that bubbling over is to give it a slight shake and this kind of runs the bubbles into one another or you can simply take the valve crack it open just for a brief second and that's actually going to force air back in the system popping those bubbles as well but those are one of the two ways that i do it all right guys so we're back over here at the table and we've pulled our measuring cup out of the degassing chamber and what i'd like to do is is i like to add my highlights, pearls, or color shifts prior to cook up. And the reason why is because it actually helps it with dissolving. Um, being how 
we're only going to shoot this one time uh, we'll try i want the blue to really really pop let's see if i can get a half there we go <clears throat> so that's actually one quarter spoon a quarter teaspoon and an eighth give or take and we'll kind of get this up to the camera to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like prior to being heated up and everything as you can see the blue is actually starting to uh show in there and you'll have to uh you know you want to definitely get this stuff broken up the best that you actually can while it's in the cup uh, you want to try to get all the clumps out if possible um, sometimes it does sometimes it does help to uh, mix it up with a knife throw it in the microwave for a short period of time uh, maybe 30 seconds to uh, to a minute and then pull it back out to kind of help with uh, getting those broke up so that looks good to me so as you can see there's uh it's got a blue haze in there and it'll become more more obvious as it heats up and stuff so now let's get this back in the microwave get it heated up and then because we've done all that whisking around and we've added some uh, highlights to it what we'll do is we'll get it heated up a little better and then we'll get it back over in the degassing chamber to degas it one more time so while the soft plastics is actually uh, heating up in the microwave i kind of wanted to just kind of fill you guys in on some of the things that you can pick up from bait plastics llc you can get pigments you can get bags you get worm oils single injectors you get highlights check out these glitters man i cannot wait to use these things they are going to be awesome i promise you that one uh, at the same time, you can pick up, if I can get my hands on it, you can get some uh, garlic sauce. I'm um, a garlic, garlic scent, garlic sauce. Same thing, garlic sauce, garlic scent. Please do not consume this in any way. Uh, you can get preheat oils to kind of keep your plastics from uh, uh, changing colors on you while you're doing a reheat. Uh, gas chambers. I mean, man, anything that you could possibly need to do what I'm doing here today. Give Butch a shout out over at Bait Plastics LLC. Find them on the web, Instagram, or Facebook. Tell them we said hello and get you some stuff to start your own game. All right, so we've kind of reached a halfway point. And as you can see, the blue in this, the blue highlights really starting to come to life. Beautiful stuff though, beautiful stuff. So we'll get this back in the microwave, cook it up a little bit more, get it thickened up. So now we'll get our glove on here. We'll reach over here in the microwave. <clears throat> Transfer our plastic over here to the countertop. We're at 354 degrees. Man, you can see that is just really taking off. And then what we'll do is we'll add the colorant that we intend to use and I don't want to uh, I don't want to overpower it but I'm definitely looking for the right color Man, that's uh, it's getting pretty close to what I'm actually looking for. So as you can see, that blue just really does a number. So I want I want the darkness for the actual crawl, but I'm looking for that shimmer of blue as well. And to me, this looks, looks good. And as you've heard me say before, I'll actually dribble some out on the board. I've actually got this white board here and I can actually dribble it out there and kind of look at it. Looks good there in the cup, coming out a little bit darker. That's a funny sound a chicken's making. But 
Man, that looks great. So now we'll actually get it over here and degas it a little bit to make sure that we do have all the bubbles out before we shoot it. So hang tight. All right, so we're coming down home stretch, and I want to just make a couple other comments. I'm not a professional at this. Uh, I never claim to be. I just love what I'm doing, and I love sharing it with people. Uh, hopefully, the, it, uh, these videos that I'm putting out, you can actually use something to help you out in your bait making experiences or opportunities um but anyway listen all right so when you're shooting pearls or highlights or anything uh, be be aware that it does thicken up on you so you'll actually have to shoot it just slightly higher the only thing left to add to this particular mix is black flake and i'm going to add one quarter spoon of 0 0.062, give it a nice little stir in there. Grab the injector, and as usual, suck up, we'll lean it back. Great rooster there. Anybody need a rooster, one rooster for free, just let me know. I'll shoot it here into the mold. Get down to the bottom there, we'll hold it for just a second. Pull it back, top off the sprue. Now we won't be reusing this plastic, but if we were, I always recommend shooting off the side of the glass such as this to kind of help eliminating bubbles instead of this. <clears throat> so we'll kind of yeah, someone's definitely going to, um, we're going to have a giveaway, and there will be a rooster in this giveaway. So I hope that each and every one of you enter the rooster giveaway. So just uh, breaking down the injector here, cleaning out the nozzle, and kind of looking at what I've got here. That's ex that's just about exactly what I wanted. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more black glitter to show up, but that looks, looks good to me. Get the old glove off. We'll crack this thing open. See what we got. hands are a little sweaty it's warm out right here there we go oh man so we'll kind of straighten these up so you can actually see them in the mold before I pluck one out so there's what they look like Check out the claws on those things. Man, that is perfect. As far as I'm concerned, that is perfect and exactly what I was looking for, looking to accomplish this. So dead on, get you that view there. And as you see the color shift, man, that works out perfect right there. I think he'll be happy with that. Not too much blue, but just enough to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight accent. So there you go. Real simple. Bait Plastics Blue Highlight Powder mixed up with some green pumpkin brown. Love the effects of that. Looks really great. So I have definitely got several more videos that I have got to get made up uh, because of all the comments that you guys have requested certain baits be shot and I'm going to uh, I'm going to answer each and every one of those videos I'm going to do them so as you see once again the four inch crawl green pumpkin with some blue highlights to it and man that is just perfect hope you guys enjoyed this video please do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button button 
hit the subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. Leave me a comment down in the comment section if you'd love to see something particular. Appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Be safe, my friends. We'll catch you next time.